we're nearing the Genoa Peak. There's no more switchbacks. And basically, this is the end. You're looking at the end of the Sierra Canyon right here. And we're right in the middle of it. Basically, we switchbacked all the way up for seven miles. And then it leveled off here. And it's just slowly climbing up here to the Genoa Peak. This will meet with the Tahoe Rim Trail. The Tahoe Rim Trail, I'm not sure, but I believe once we get on it up here, we'll be able to stand on the Genoa Peak and we'll be able to see Lake Tahoe. People back in the 1800s, they had to cross the Sierras on skis, snowshoes, uh, on foot, ox wagons, horses, and uh, we're kind of reliving the 1800s. We're doing this on foot. It's a very hot day. You can see that bright sun behind us. Uh, that's the peak. That's Genoa Peak right there. But uh, as long as we can get higher up and get at the end of this canyon, we're basically, you know, we've basically conquered Genoa Peak. Uh, you can see Genoa down there. That's Genoa. And then you got Gardner, Minden and Gardnerville, which you could hardly see. And that valley is a Carson Valley. That is a high desert, a very green high desert, full of cattle ranches and farms and uh, desert plant life. And as opposed to up here, you know, you have your granite and your slate and a uh, lot, lot of ferns and pine trees and, you know, common wildflowers that are seen in the Sierras. And, of course, if you look up here, that little town's called Jack's Valley. So there's a lot to see from up here. And if you look real closely, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, that's Gardnerville and Minden. Very old historical towns. Anyways, we're going to continue on with this hike. We're going to have lunch at the top. Our fluids are running low. Uh, the breathing started. It stopped again. I can't say it's Bigfoot. I don't know if it is. We're hoping to get them on video. Uh, we are in meadows. We are in beautiful country. We've worked hard to get up here. And we're going to take a few photos, eat some lunch, and then we're going to head back down. Anyways, this is your founder of the Paranormal Ghost Society, Lord Rick. And uh, we have Jared. What's up, man? What's up? And he's hiked 10 miles, and I've never known a child of his age to be able to hike 10 miles without complaining. He hasn't even complained. So give him a lot of credit because he has outdone every paranormal investigator I've ever had. And so I want to congratulate you. You've hiked 10 miles up one of the toughest peaks in the Eastern Sierras. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something to be proud of. And uh, I'm proud of Jared because I'll tell you what, I've, I've been bringing adults on these hikes. They quit. They want to go back to their car. They don't want to do it. They don't want to, you know, they, they don't want to go off the trail. They don't want to see nothing. They don't bring cameras. They don't, you know, it's a lot of different problems that we have. And I can count on Jared to find me prints and take pictures and help out with the investigations and there's no doubt in my mind that this kid is a prodigy when it comes to bigfoot hunting anyways this is lord rick i'm signing out for now we're going to go another few hundred feet and see if we can get some video and pictures of lake tahoe we are just on the other side just about to cross the sierras we're on the other side i should say is lake tahoe and this is looking west, so we would be heading into the western part of the Sears. This is the eastern side, the western side just over the hill. Let's get going. Let's do this, man. Yeah, yeah let's do this. Okay.